Welcome to Every Coach Needs a Coach, the podcast for coaches of all sports and all age groups to learn from coaches and people they may otherwise never have the chance to meet. Today on See One, Do One, Teach One, we are continuing our word of care. And I want to give you guys another example of caring. And it's so simple, but it's one of the best ones I have. So summer of 2020, we didn't know if we were going to have a fall 2020 soccer season. Um, but if we did, I wanted to make sure that every player that we had in the program was going to be eligible because they needed soccer more than anything that year. So as soon as I could, I checked on their medical status and clearance status to make sure that they were all going to be cleared by that first day. And I must have sent 50 emails that summer. Um, I was updating kids on their status, answering questions about who to give their forms to and when. And through those efforts and the efforts of their kids and the efforts of the parents, every kid was cleared by when they needed to be. And when we got that first day, everybody was eligible and no one had to sit out the first day. So the summer of 2021 was similar. It was a little less chaotic, but I was just as persistent with the emails and sending out individual ones this time to ensure that every player would be cleared when tryouts started. And through the efforts of the kids and their parents, again, um, every player was cleared that first day. So as a coach, we take on a lot of responsibilities. And I'm not sure that sending individual emails once or twice a week every for five weeks in the summer falls under that umbrella of responsibilities. It, it certainly didn't when I was an athlete. It probably didn't when you were an athlete. So my motive behind sending those emails was to answer the question, if a coach really cared about their players and their capacity to participate on that first day, what would they do to ensure every player could participate and was eligible on that first day. And the answer to that question in my head was they would get in touch with every player and let them know their status and let them know the right people and the right forms to get in. So that's why I sent those emails. I didn't do it for any other reason. Um, and I let the kids know in those emails, I told them guys, I want you to be cleared so we can get the best look at you during tryouts. And I want you to be eligible to play. And that was the question in my head. What would a coach who cares about this do? I use it in healthcare too, right? I'm a physical therapist. What would a physical therapist who cares about their patients do, right? I, I have to call other providers. I have to um, call and check on patients, you know, either later that day or the next day. Um, I, I call six months later after I haven't seen somebody just to say, hey, like everything's still good. How's the knee? How's the back? How are the grandkids? Whatever it is. Um, answer that question. What would a coach who cares do? And then whatever your answer is, go, go do it. And it takes some courage sometimes to do that. Um, and that's something I think we can all work on. Like we talked about yesterday, right? From caring, from, from caring comes courage, have the courage to act and actually care about your kids. I appreciate you. Thank you for spending some time with me today. Keep getting better every day.